Okay, so we have a consult sitting in room one right now who came in wanting to repair an implant crown that broke because his six-year-old nephew kicked him in the face. But we always look at the whole mouth because we want to just make sure that nothing else is going on. And I found that he's missing teeth in another part of the mouth. So I just wanted to give you insight into how we figure out whether a patient is, is, is capable of getting implants or not. So we look in the mouth, looks like there's plenty of space for implants, but how do we really know that they can get them? We look at the CT scan over here. So in this patient's case, we, I take a look at the quality of the bone and I, we take into account the measurements of side to side, from the cheek to the palate, from the sinus, this is a sinus, to the edge of the bone to determine whether or not he can get an implant. And unfortunately, it turns out that he would have to get a major sinus operation in order to get two implants so we can give him one. But I just wanted to give you a little insight as to how we figure these things out. Um, any dentist placing implants should definitely be taking a CT scan so we can do all these types of measurements and ultimately give you the most accurate possible, precise possible restoration and surgery we can do.